Hello and welcome again to another video here on Secure in Mind. Today we're gonna look at a the search engine called Shodan. And just by opening this web page, I already feel that we're gonna do some things we really shouldn't be doing. Um, but this is again another shout out from me to everyone that owns, in this particular case, a webcam. And <clears throat> different ways you can find webcams on Shodan. I'm not logged in by the way, so I'm just using it as free as I can. You can go to pricing and, and have a look here and, and, and yeah, it's not that deep, it's not a lot, but no, I'm just thinking, $69 a month, not really for me. But if you go ahead and type, for example, just webcam XP, it's just, you know, one of the terms you can search for. You can find a lot of different webcams um, on the internet. Let me see if we can find it here. Um, and then basically we can look at their interfaces, the web interfaces, sometimes we can even see live images or pictures or whatever now it does seem like to be a bit slow it's still thinking i'm sorry for that so while it thinks um maybe we should talk about the implications of having you know stuff online you know if, if i ever install something online to maybe be exposed on the internet i would probably not expose it depending what it was of course you know i heard some people that created on the interface and you know the guy or something was a programmer and 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 his girlfriend wife you know or acquaintance was a designer i don't know you know just making things up right now and then they created something and it was online you know And it doesn't seem like, oh, there we go. So we, we just got back 486 different kind of results for webcam XP. If we go to Google and type webcam XP, we see that it is some sort of surveillance webcam you can buy that that's basically goes by this particular, you know, search phrase. I don't know much about the webcam or anything, you know, some keyboards just look up. And I, I don't, you know, already we have a picture, you know, I'm, I'm not really here to expose anyone, but it, it's so obvious that someone in the United States, fair fact, you know, I'm, the thing, um, there is nothing going on in this picture that's crazy important, I think, but I know that if you scroll down, very interesting in Germany, um, if you, for example, take the, the very first one here and just, you know, open this here, you you get a web interface. You can also just, you know, click on the, I think it's on this name here. And then you get into an overview of different options and choices you can have. Now, obviously this is running really slow, probably because I haven't paid for this. So while we wait, the other one I have here, this is this is where we would normally, you know, on try hack me, whatever I do. This is where we would normally do stuff. You know, we would look at this. It's called Webcam XP5, and we go and, and, and search for exploit. You know, this this is this is what we're gonna do. And and I'm pretty sure that if you just went and and, and looked for you know default credentials for this and tried it or even try and brute force this you know i couldn't imagine anything crazy going on here you know i'm i'm just really trying to touch just touching what i see but not doing anything because that would be well illegal ethically incorrect whatever you're gonna say so you can basically see that there are different you know it's just a lock in and <sighs> If you ask me, I'm pretty sure I can just brute force the way out of this to, to the end of the day. And and I'm not really gonna do anything to this. I'm, I'm just, you know, hovering it, not clicking. 
And this is this is uh, the thing you see here. You you actually get the IP address, and you also get some other interesting informations about. There's a port 21 FTPD, and you basically just again go ahead and and do this. You know you can go ahead and and search for exploits and and. It seems like there's something for this particular version, and what I'm really saying is that Shodan is the machine to use uh, if um, you want to search for anything else than a website. It is IoT, it is webcams, it is uh, surveillance cameras, you know, different kind of places, and you know, I've I've seen cases where swimming, you know, uh, what is it called. Um, the place with swimming pools <clears throat> is they they where you can go in and swim right and there are different surveillance cameras inside where you change your clothes and I, i've heard about you know i haven't been there but i heard about that someone found a camera on short and once it was like i think it's 10 years ago i heard about it and and then they could actually see people you know what they want to do in this kind of room where they bring on the other clothes, you know, to swim. So, uh, so, so I'm just saying that, you know, you should definitely, if you are the owner um, of these kind of things, you know, do something about it. It's it's just an open door. You will be monitored by Shoda and you will be found. It's pretty easy to, to find uh, people. And I'm not... Not really sure this is gonna be in in Hungary. It says right. So, so basically just closing this down here and going back, and then we could just take the other one here, for example, and 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 take a look at this while this load. We we can see that there is um. It is basically an image, and. It, it does seem like that this is, you know, something we can source this and that. And and you know, why why would people do this? You know, why why would a motion JPEG? Then we can have a, have a live uh, feed. You know, I'm not really gonna. I, I cannot see if this is live. You know, it's 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 uh, it's not really live view. Yeah, so it is live view. Though. So this is just another thing, you know, people bought these kind of cameras here and they just put them up and without doing anything, you know, in particular, you know, this is going to be vulnerable. I'm going to, I'm going to close this down again because it's not really something that I intend to do something with. I just want to showcase that, you know, even, even, um, let's see this one here. I, yeah, you can see the flag moving around, right? It, you can see stuff going, turning around. It's just no of you, and it's pretty, pretty, you know, I would say innocent, this picture, but multi view. And you can see that the different, you know, ways you can use this interface here gallery and administration this is where you know we shouldn't really be going and this is another thing is this a part of Google can you take this IP address here and go to Google and and, 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 and put it in and match it up by anything you see here and you can see that it, it it's being it's being matched up at different kind of Domain lookup things, you know, IP info and stuff, and it, it is basically just it exists. Um, this is this is just a normal web page, you know. It, it doesn't have any domain attached, it's just an IP address. So for this particular case, it's not really a standard web page that you normally would find in Google, but it's just a web page that you would find uh, on Shodan. You know, I. I feel so sneaky already now, you know, just <laughs> showing these kind of things here on YouTube. But I, I also feel like that I'm not really doing anything wrong, you know. I'm basically going 
online and and I, I I can see the things you know I can see the IP addresses I can see you know I, I of course what would I use this for for example you know, I I'm not saying this is particularly interesting but there are different kind of you know things you can find on Shodan yeah log into an account so on that could be potentially interesting for me if I were in a some sort of reconnaissance you know OSINT operation finding things and you know this was just an introductory video to show and just want to show you what it can do what you can find and and you know there are stories about people people having a laptop that's been compromised just having a laptop with a camera on in some way they have it exposed online and then they left it open and you know they cuddle in the couch and drink hot tea and whatever they do right uh, <laughs> you know what I mean you know that, that it's been th incidents uh, and, and, and stuff been recorded and put on different web pages online and sold for, for money because it was um, it, it could be attacked like intentional uh, you know, unintentional stuff uh, behind the scenes uh, x x x you know and it is horrible these kind of things can happen and i really just say that you know with this kind of search machine go and check yourself out you know <laughs> look your own ip up find out what you have exposed to the internet and, and shut it down that's the lesson of this video so really i i hope um hope you learned something and i hope you you're not running away scary or screaming while watching this but the internet is a scary place and, and, and we all need to take care of what we're doing. Until next time, please check Shodan and your own IP. See you again online. Bye bye.